not where we want to be but I'm not super upset about it um, I have critique that I need already I believe um, and it's pretty much just to like work on posing and obviously we can always be leaner so I think it's a good start to the competition season Girl got second call outs again um, and it almost looks like last place you guys like I was on the outside of second call outs like they called me they were like from here and they put me to like the other outside um, basically what it felt like is I didn't even get like looked at like I really did not feel like that judging panel even knew I was at this show and so it hurts your feelings when you get called out essentially last so I definitely took it really hard um, I started crying I was angry I was frustrated I want to quit I don't want to do this anymore like what's the point of doing this if I'm just gonna get called like second call outs like I'm competitive I want to do well I want to win and I put in so much effort that I feel I deserve to do better so <laughs> Just waiting. Yeah. We've been here for about two hours. Just hanging out. I've been sleeping and eating some food and drinking some water and tea. And now we're just waiting to go on. But I'm told. I love it. It's like my second bowl. <laughs>
times is because there is something amazing waiting for me once I break through all of the bullshit. You know, once you go through this struggle and this struggle and you get knocked down this time and this time and this time, that finally there's going to be that light. And the only reason that you get it, you get the big reward at the end of the tunnel is because you kept pushing through the hard, 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 hard struggles with as much enthusiasm as you have when you start. That's the biggest thing, guys. You know, you just gotta keep pushing through as hard as you were before. You know, it's so easy to give up, and that was my initial response. I was like, why am I doing this? Why am I competing? If I'm not placing top five every single time, why am I doing this? Um, and I might as well just quit. But that's easy. That's easy to do. It's easy to quit. It's easy to just be like, I'm done, bye. You know, it's hard to pick yourself back up after you've lost. It's hard to keep going with as much enthusiasm as you've had in the beginning when you've been pushed down and you're struggling and you don't get where the placing that you want or you don't get, you know, anything in life that you want. It's harder to just keep going and to keep pushing and to keep pushing as hard as you can. So, I will take the hard route because life is too short to make it boring, right? Easy, e quitting would be easy and boring. We're back at the house. The coaches told me that my tan is turning green on stage, I guess. So, I have to rinse off my tan and I have to go across town and get re-tanned before the night show. And eat. And redo your hair. And, well, no, my hair will be fine, but... Yep. Yep. Because so, that's, that's the life doing. of a competitor. That's what we're doing. Okay. I almost ran out of pee cups.
place, you can go to the 957, Joey Rizzo. Fourth place, 575, is Vanessa Yevin. Third place, 129, is Emily Azzarello. Okay, I've not talked to you in a hot minute. So it is like 11 o'clock at night here in Pittsburgh on Wednesday, post show. And guess what? I guess what, guess what, guess what? I'm a pro. Your girl's a fucking pro. We did it. We fucking did it, you guys. Like, oh my God, I cannot believe it. Well, I can't. I've worked my ass off for this. <sighs> but I'm so excited. Like, I can't even, I just can't even express how proud of myself I am, how happy I am, how much this means to me. Like, this is just incredible. Such a good feeling. I'm gonna revel the fuck in it all week long. Right now, it is about 11 o'clock at night, super late, and it's a Wednesday here, so like all the food places are closed, which really sucks post-show. If you're a competitor, you wanna eat post-show, but if all the places are closed, you can't. So, I am trying to rush to a restaurant, I'm, I don't know where my mother is. She had to go close out a bar tab. Ah, there she is. Where are we going, you guys? Change of plans. We found a place downtown. And it's called 12 Whiskey and Barbecue. I'm very excited. Wow. Where's the mackerel? Oh, there it is. <laughs> What is up you guys? Happy Thursday. So it is the next day and we went out to eat. Um, we found that delicious like barbecue place. We ended up having to go downtown a little bit where there was like a street that was a ton of bars that had a lot of food. So we found a delicious barbecue place which I showed you the food or I'll clip it in right here. And it was delicious, like so yummy, so fun. Uh, and then I went home and enjoyed all my treats and passed out and I didn't go to bed till like 4.30 in the morning. And I'm sleep deprived and carb drunk and all of the things, but I did not show you any of the goodies. So I'm gonna show you some goodies. You'll have to forgive me, they're like munched through. So I bought a ton of stuff from this place called, oh no, you, you saw that. So I bought a ton of stuff from Prantles Bakery, basically just because I wanted to like nibble on it. So let me show you what I've left over. Let's go. Oh my God, it smells amazing in here. <laughs> So is the idea to start on this end and then go all the way? I don't even know how to process all of it. Hi! Hi. We're from out of town, is it obvious? <laughs> oh my god. And here's the 
here's what they're known for. Okay, so this little box had a ton of just like mini pastries. So we have a carrot cake here. And these are like little, they call them like mini pastries, but it's like a little tiny cake ball. Like I don't know, but this one is toffee. I obviously didn't get into that one. This one was a peanut butter chocolate. This one is a red velvet. This guy was white chocolate raspberry. <laughs> and that guy I think was an almond. So those were really good but super rich. And then this is what they're known for, this vanilla burnt almond tort. Let's open this. This vanilla burnt almond tort, which is really good, but it was really rich. The bread is really yummy. And then I got a red velvet bar, which of course is delicious. And then this, you guys, oh my gosh, hold on. This is a brownie bomb. So there is a brownie at the bottom of that. This is a flavored icing with chocolate over top and it's cold. And this was a toffee one. That was so good. This was also the remains of a little chocolate, like one of those guys. And I think that's it. This is a little bit of a chocolate croissant <laughs> that I have left over. And yes, like seriously, it was all incredible. I was able to like take bites of everything, which is what I wanted. Um, before I got like too sick because post-show stuff is like really, 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 really intense. So like the richer it is, it's like, it's really hard to eat. But I want to bite of this red velvet. Mm. But I'm so bad at like showing you guys stuff when it comes to eating the food. So I wanted to share that with you. I am trying to like pull myself together today I've drank maybe like a gallon and a half of water already and I'm just so dehydrated and literally I woke up and I just had a meal about an hour ago and it's three o'clock. That was my first meal and it's literally just back to depletion meals while I'm here in Pittsburgh because we're still going to enjoy some things so the meals that I can control are going to be depletion meals which is two, one to two cups of veggies with four ounces of protein for every meal except for the ones that like we're gonna go out to eat at a restaurant tonight um, that was closed last night we wanted to go to it but it was closed last night so except for like a meal or two there and then I may munch on these sweets right now um, and then that all the other meals are gonna be depletion meals until we get back into our routine and then we start reverse dieting uh, but yeah I wanted to touch base I'm gonna eat a little bit of these treats because that just tasted delicious. And it really is hard to eat stuff post-show, like the day of the show, because your palate is so not used to any of that and so everything is like super rich. You can only have a few bites because by the time you're like done with the show, you've had a lot of carbs. Like you've been carving up Friday, all day Saturday, or Tuesday, Wednesday in this case. So it's really hard to eat a lot of food. Like I literally was able to eat like a few bites of stuff and like that was it. So I might enjoy some sweets. <laughs> I'm a pro, I deserve it. Um, it doesn't mean reverse dieting's out the window. I just might wanna enjoy a few little nibbles. But yes, I wanna touch base with you guys. I will take you out to dinner with me tonight and just have you follow along with the rest of the trip in Pittsburgh and then we'll see what we're gonna do after that.
Oh, oh okay. okay. Just an ice cream cone. Yeah. Yeah. 